Today we are making what Ghanaians know to be chibom. Yes, it's our version of an omelette or fried egg. So please stay with me. So in this video, I'll be reliving my childhood, okay? So I'm going to start by adding tomatoes and onions to two eggs. And then this is a mixture of salt and water. Yes, that's how it was done when I was growing up in Gofredia in the Eastern region. For some reason, they always mix the salt with water before adding to the eggs. And then as an option, you could buy sardines into your eggs and then beat everything together till it's well combined. Now let's talk about the frying pan I'll be using very soon. So growing up, and I think even still, these people who do the chibu or fry these eggs never have nice looking frying pans okay like this one oh yeah look at it it's one of those utensils where like you want to throw away but you want to keep no yes they always look this way trust me if you know you know so i'm heating a bit of oil in there and like i said because i'm reliving my childhood this is what i'm going to be frying my eggs or chibum in meanwhile if this is your first time here please don't forget to subscribe and join this amazing family and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I am so grateful. So once my oil is hot enough, my eggs will go in. And it looks like the non-stick frying pans, you know, they've spoiled me. When I was frying this thing, I was like, hey, when will it be okay to turn my eggs? Because I didn't want to do yawa with the video, but I was like, yeah, okay, let's do this take my time and then allow the egg to fry very well beneath it before I flip, okay? But I was patient. And when I was young, I used to have this always with tea bread. So obviously, yeah, I got some tea bread also on the side and waited patiently for my eggs to cook. And normally I'll toast my bread, but when it comes to tea bread, I get it fresh all the time. I mean, I enjoy it fresh. Like, when is the following day? I don't like it again. So I got this fresh tea bread and I didn't have to toast it, okay? So once my eggs were ready, it went straight in there. And oh, I shot this video in the afternoon. So typically, they'll make this with very hot milo or Lipton, okay? But I had mine with some cold drink, which you see later on. But what I've noticed also with them is that when they make the meal or the beverage very hot, so they don't add any ordinary water, like room temperature water. It is steaming hot. So when I was growing up, my mom would get two cups. So one has the beverage and the other one is empty. And keep emptying the contents into one another. I don't know if you get the picture I'm creating. Yes. So the temperature of the beverage cools down. Then you can enjoy it. Okay. So like I said, I shot the video in the afternoon, so I had mine with a chilled glass of Mirinda, and oh, I was in heaven. I hope you try this very simple recipe and relive your childhood. I mean, if you didn't have this in your childhood, it's not too late to try it. Thank you for joining me in today's episode of the Ghana Month, and keep blooming. Mm -hmm.